All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who will well as salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shatia from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And today I'm talking about uh, the movie, The First Purge. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, of course, stop the video. Go check the, uh, go check it out, and then come back and watch it. So, with saying that, of course, you all know yesterday was uh, America was celebrating uh, that wickedness, and uh, while everybody was popping fireworks and eating swine and drinking and smoking blunts, you know, I went out to go check the uh, the movie, the first purge out. And I recommend all brothers watch. Actually, all brothers need to go watch that movie. It's very spiritual. You know, it's so much that they touched on in the movie. It can't possibly be put in one sit down. If it did, it would be very long. Very, very long. And this video might have to be in multiple parts as well because... As far as it pertains to the movie, I'm just only going to be talking about the first, I would say, maybe four minutes of the film. And you're just like, first four minutes? Yeah, because when, you, when you're watching this movie, okay, when it comes on, you have a news reporter. And she's talking about uh, the new founding father, President. And the president is talking about about how America is at a breaking point, okay? And it needs, we need to do something to get it back to uh, the greatness that it once had, okay? And that sounds very similar to the rhetoric of Donald Trump as far as him saying, America needs to be made great again. We need to get back to having jobs. Basically, we need to get back to when it was just the good old boys enjoying the so-called good old days. But nonetheless, uh, you also had the reporter giving the reasons why the new founding father was explaining that America was at a breaking point. And she was talking about uh, the lack of jobs, okay, uh, being at an all-time high, poverty being at an all-time high, the housing bubble being at an all-time high. The opiate crisis is at an all-time high. Racial tension is at an all-time high. Uh, and, and, and other things. Like everything that... That shows the decline of society. They explained all of that within the first three or four minutes. And... It just blew my mind because what do you hear on your local news stations every single night? Uh, 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 Edomite person calls the cops on the Jake for some nonsense. Cops shooting down Jakes. All right. There, there's not a video that you can't check out on Worldstar where you got some Edomite uh, uh, telling some uh, Latino uh, you need to speak English. Why don't you go back to Mexico? This is our land. Okay. You hear the news talking about the opioid epidemic is worse than it's ever been ever in the history uh, of mankind. Now, they only say that because now it's affecting them. But you know what I mean. All right. You got Jakes who are poor. They can't find jobs. All right, they're shipping out all the, the jobs overseas. They're cutting jobs so that this country functions on the bare minimum. Okay. It, it, it touched on a whole lot of the things that affect people today. And it's funny because all these things are prophesied in the Bible and they're putting it right in front of people's faces to see. 
All right. When you watch this movie, it lets you know without a shadow of a doubt that Esau is ready to stump a mud hole in you fucking jakes, man. I mean, they this movie's letting you know that they are ready. All right. But as I said, all these things were prophesied to happen in the scripture. Well, we go to. Uh, what's it, Matthew? Twenty-four and three, and it says, "And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world?" Basically, the disciples wanted to know when is going to be the downfall of Esau's kingdom and what are the signs that we need to look for to let us know that it's coming toward an end. All right. And the reason how we know it's talking about bad uncle Esau uh, is when we go to Ezra, second Ezra six and seven, it says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said, from unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that was the question that the disciples were asking Yahweh Shai. Okay, when is it going to be the end of bad uncle Esau? And what are the signs that we need to look for? And this is what Yahweh Shai told him. It said, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. And this, as you know, the scriptures are many fold. You know, it's not only talking about the, the wars that America has with these different countries involving these uh, uh, tariffs and the oil. But, you know, the wars that are happening within this country, all right, the war, uh, uh, the drug, the war against uh, dr drugs and these opiates, as they say, the war on poverty, the, the war on, uh, as they say, equality, because it was saying racial tensions were at an all time high, which it is. All right. And it says, see that ye not be troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right. And you saw that in the first. Uh, 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 like I said, four minutes of the film, because they were explaining how. They're tired of being poor. They're tired of being Jake. Well, I mean, Jake was tired of being poor and oppressed. And you know how bad Uncle Esau doesn't give a shit about him, which is true. All right. You know, and the Latinos were saying the same thing. But that's what I mean by Jake. You know, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. All of them were complaining about the same thing, being oppressed by the same enemy. OK. And it says, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And these things were happening because, as it said in the movie, Poverty and the loss of jobs are at an all-time high. Folks were complaining about there's no jobs, there's no money. How are we supposed to feed it, uh, uh, our families? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? You know? These are things that they talked about in the movie. And there's... Uh, you know, just a... a, a in that first three or four minutes, you there was just a heavy vibration of of that that uh, that frustration, you know, and you see that in in real life, you you see that frustration in real life amongst Jake because they they're they're tired of being poor, they're tired of being oppressed, they're tired of not having no jobs, okay. You know, they're tired of the, the inequality or, or the draconian law that, that's being forced upon them by their oppressors. All right. 
and, and they were also protesting uh, uh, against what they what the movie calls the first purge because you had certain jakes in the movie in the very beginning of the movie they knew what it was all about they knew that hey man you 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 niggas are uh what I, what I mean like niggas bad uncle esau you like hey we know you are targeting us for a reason we know that to you we're the undesirables okay we know you're using this strictly to get rid of us. Which is true. All right. That's why the scripture says. Okay. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, meaning destruction, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, all right, which is bad uncle Esau, the deceiver, has come down until you have a great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. Right? Because this in the movie, this is his answer. This is bad uncle Esau's uh, uh This is his, I guess, what do they call that? The ultimate solution or final solution. Okay. The purge. He was like, this is a perfect way that we can get rid uh, of you, you, you niggas. You like, you Spanish niggas, you want tomahawks, you speaks. He was like, this is the perfect way to get rid of you all. And it'd be perfectly justified. Okay. That's why the scripture says, uh, I believe it's in Psalm. Uh, when it is light. Yep, Micah 2 and 1. All right. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. All right. I mean, destruction to them that devise wickedness. All right. And devise evil upon their beds. You know, it says when the morning is light, you know, basically when they have the, the time to do it, you know, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right. You know, this was this 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 was their plan that because in the beginning of the movie, they explain how this I concept and idea of the purge has has been in the works for years. It's just now that they've had now they have the right person in the right political climate to execute such a thing. All right. And that's very similar to what's happening right now. You you have the perfect president and you have the perfect political climate for bad uncle Esau to just roll up on you jakes at any moment. You all don't realize that it's only going to take one more false flag. It's going to take a, a, a stock market collapse, a so-called terrorist event or one uh, racial shooting. You all don't realize it's, it's one of those things. It's going to be one or two more of those things that's just going to completely set this thing off. And when that happens, that's when you're going to have the purge. Okay. And it's not going to be anything nice because when you watch that movie, it's going to clearly show you. And I'm going to get into that in, in another part. That if... The most high is not with you. You are not going to make it. So I hope this was edifying. Uh, once again, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders, a great millstone, grew well. And salutations to you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Until then, we're going to say Shalom.